So the other big mystery here in the kitchen, or, or something that sometimes intimidates me, is the sanitizer. So there's this big machine over here in the corner that grumbles, and I'm sort of afraid of it, um, but it's really not as scary as it looks. So we're gonna show you how to do it real quick so that anyone who wants to help out with Fellowship Hour knows and uh, can, can jump right in. Okay. So tell me about the sanitizer, Laura. The sanitizer is such a fun machine. This is a sanitizer, not a dishwasher. So all food and liquids and such need to be rinsed off before you put the um, dishes in um, because this just sanitizes, does not wash. Well, does, but okay. you get the point. Okay, so when you come in, the sanitizer takes a while to heat up. So very first thing, sanitizer operation is on the door, but it's also on the wall because once you have this open, you can't read the direction of the door. <laughs> so we put it in multiple places. First thing you want to do is this, la this first button is the on, fill, and off drain button. So you just want to switch it to on, fill, and close the door. And you, when you close the door, so it's closed, but it's not on yet, that's because you have to latch. Like, uh, make sure you push it down to latch. Okay. That will fill the tank with the water. It takes about 10 minutes for, for it to reach temperature, which is 150 degrees. And there's a dial here on the, on the machine itself. So the key piece that people forget is the latch. So make sure when you shut it, you latch it, and that will start it going. While you're using it, when you're, when you're prepping to use it, these are what you put dishes and, and items in. Make sure you rinse them. And thank you, Rod. Make sure you rinse them using this. And if this isn't working, it's because this is turned so that it'll be water. But this is what makes this work. So. So make sure everything is rinsed. There we go. And if you have utensils that are small and could fall through, these, so basically tableware, they need to go in one of these metal things. Those metal things don't work. And they don't, you're right. The plastic one works really great on this because we're cutting it out. But the metal ones, need, you need to put them in and the one that has it pulled out. Mm. Either way, so everything is rinsed and ready to go. When you pull open the sanitizer, do not stack these. Only one layer goes in. There's a shelf, it rolls in. And do not stack more because then that just blocks all the water from, from doing its job. You want to go ahead, stick it in. Latch. That will start the cycle. So um, I'm reading the directions because I always have to make sure I'm saying the right thing. There's an in cycle button down here that shows green while it's working. It goes through a, a rinse cycle and then it pauses. It's not done until the cycle light goes out. Because it pauses, steams, and then does one more. I'm so, sure what it is, but just watch for that. When that light goes out, which I now can't pull, pull it, uh, pull it open. Make sure you recognize that water is very, very hot and the dishes are very, very hot, so grab it by the side, put it up on the uh, drain boards to drain for a minute or two. Don't grab the hot plates. Trust me, fingertips are a good thing. Um, and don't dry them off. Yeah, and dry, and dry them. Take one of the towels and dry off any excess water so before you put things away. It just makes them dry better. And then you just repeat that cycle until you've gone through all of your dishes. The very end, once you've gone through all your dishes and it's empty, you're going to put it through one last cycle. But this one last cycle is going to be, here's that pause I mentioned. And then it does something else. Um, I believe it's the, it's the sanitizer and then this is a rinse after the sanitizer, I think. But don't quote me on that because I'm not an expert in this machine. Um, so when you're ready to to clean everything out, you're done, everything's out, you don't have to put anything in there, you're going to latch it again, and instead of, when you latch it, it's going to go start through a cycle, but you're going to hit the, the off drain button, which is the toggle switch with the on film, hit that off drain, it will go through a cycle, 
draining the machine, you need to wait until that green light goes on, and then open the dishwasher and leave it open to dry before you leave. The key piece is always make sure it's off and drain and the door is open before you leave. If you leave this on, sitting here, it'll stay hot the whole time, and that's really hard on the machine. So the light just went off. So I can open it up, pull things out, grab by the side, put it off to dry, and then I want to drain it. So I'm going to just close it up, click, off drain. So now it will go through its cycle, shut itself off, and before I leave, I'll come over and make sure the light is off. And